Welcome to the Showbiz Podcast with Robert Rabia and Joey coley Sari. This week's guest, Leanna Welsman. Perhaps best known to an international audience as Zam Wessel in Star Wars, or to Aussies as Erica Davidson in Wentworth, Leanna Walsman is an Australian actress who has been nominated for a number of awards for her layered and deeply compelling work, including an Australian Film Institute slash Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts Award for Safe Harbour, One Perfect Day and Bitter and Twisted, as well as a Logie Award for Safe Harbour and Jessica, and a Film Critics Circle of Australia Award for her work on Manny Lewis. In this episode, Leanna Walsman discusses her journey and experiences in the Australian film and television industry that has spanned both stage and screen for over two decades now. So pull up a chair and listen in. Do you draw on those experiences personally for, you know, those kind of roles that we've been talking about? Well, I think you, I mean, I've never, I don't, I don't, I think it's crazy. I mean, for me, I can't go, oh yeah, um, let's say someone is passing away in my arms as a character and I look at them and I imagine my father. I mean, that's, I would never do that mm. because that's not real. I would imagine that this person in my arms is passing away. Yeah. But I, I would connect to the feeling of loss. Yeah. I mean, I think you connect, to me, I connect to feel the, my body recognises the the feelings that I've felt before, but I'm not going to put someone else's face on the actor that's in front of me. Do so you, know you don't I mean? use an emotional uh, substitute per se for for those kind of scenes. No, I can I can remember, I know my history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but it's more about generating that moment. Yeah, in within the moment. yeah, and I think that um, I understand what I understand of that moment, and and I think the more that I think about something. Sometimes I go, oh my God, like I have these realizations where I'm like, this is an intense moment. This is way bigger than I I really thought Mm. when I really boil it all down. And that becomes part of it. But it's like if I have a relationship in my life with somebody new, I'm going to take my history in there with them. Sure, sure. So I think it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. But you just, what you've got to do as an actor is you've got to bring the history of your character, like really think about the circumstance that they're placed in. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm placing that history in the moment, mm. but, I, but I'm reacting to the person in front of me. Yeah. So I, com- I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't replace that, that person with somebody else. Totally. And have you always worked like that, Leanna? Yeah, do you put someone else's face in, on them? It, it depends. M- my process varies from role to role. It just depends. Well, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but generally speaking, no, absolutely, there's certainly a place for that, yeah. That doesn't mean that I, that person in front of me, I go, I mean, I don't get confused about who they are, but I think that I have to react to the person that's there. Okay, if the other person's not giving me anything, then you have to do something else. Mm-hmm. But I think that the, the easiest way to perform is to react. That kind of leads into a question mm. that I wanted to ask, because what's it like working on a... Sorry, I'm so far away from the that's bike. Okay. What's it What's it like working on a set like Star Wars mm-hmm. where you have a very short amount of time that where you're there, you've got to generate and make an impact on a really... Um, short time scale in, in terms of, but like I remember seeing Zam Wessel as like, and so does my so does my mate. He lost his mind when he heard that so you were coming context, in. Uh, Leanna worked on Star, Star Wars, Wars, of course, right? Like five Hunter's five scene. minutes in the first. Dude, <laughs> that Sam Wessel, which spawned a video game, mind you. You have a few. You have a you have a, you have a, t- you have a figurine that my mate has. I have a few figurines. Yeah, wow, wow. I just did a. So they were making a um. A video game, and I, like, while I've been here in Melbourne, I just did the voice of the character. I've done it before. Right. It's just lots of like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and it's like all you ask, all the sheet says is, um, punch soft, punch medium, right, punch right, large, right. scream, you know, like all. So it's jump. all the reaction, like, jump. Ooh, like Jumping jumping stuff. over like a, a brick or something. Yeah, like, right. Yoo hoo! Go full Mario. <laughs> yeah, easiest job ever. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, well, yeah, what's it like having just that shorter period of time to make an impact? Well, I mean, I don't, I mean, I can't say that I was digging deep into the, yeah, right. the psyche of the changeling I was playing. I didn't even know I was playing a changeling. I was just like young, going nuts. I was doing a play at the same time I got cast from 
and I didn't like I was on set and I didn't even know what voice to use. I was like, oh, is, is, am I supposed to be American or Australian? And George is like, well, whatever. You're from outer space. George Lucas. Make a choice. It's like I'm just shitting myself. Yeah, yeah. You want McGregor's there? I'm speaking to there. George Lucas. Yeah, right now. and no, and he's like, so oh, whatever. You're from outer space. Doesn't matter. You Star Wars. Well, you, you can aware? speak whatever language you want. I was like, well. What? I mean, I, I can't... Like, a baddie is an Australian. I just don't... I don't know. So I did a really bad American accent, but it, it was all kind of changed anyway. And, and I didn't know... Like, I just kind of... I, I, it was pretty hard to gauge whether that it was decent or not because it's a completely different genre. Yeah, right. And you're, you're, it's really stylized. But it was lots of fun. Like, all the running... I love all the running around and yeah. stunty stuff. I was always really athletic... Well, today maybe not <laughs> but I was like always really athletic and like yeah. using my body and and yeah. so if that and I was doing the play that I was cast from that I got the role from that's what I was doing for an hour and a half I was like hanging off things and running around the stage it was incredibly physical oh, right. wow. so that's why I got cast I was tiny I was quite waif like and I had a crew cut and <laughs> I was like doing all this jumping and running around yeah, the yeah. stage so yeah. they were like come in and I had an interview and it, it, they didn't even tell me what it what the role was. Was George Lucas present at the interview? Like, no, is he that hands casting. on? Oh, no. okay, okay. But he would have seen the video and yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. Cast you from that. Wow. Mm. What was that experience like? I mean, you're working in one of the most successful film franchises of all time. I mean, yeah. is there a weight of expectation? I, I'd never seen any of them. Oh, great. Really? No. That would have freed you up so much. Yeah, I had no idea. Like, people. Um, so you didn't realize how huge Star Wars was when you. Well, yeah, it was like, big. It was a show, but you, no. You had to know that Star Wars was big. Sure. Yeah, but, but not 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 what I know now. No. Yeah, right. Um, no, not at all. And then, but then it was just lots of fun. We're all young. Everyone's yeah, run, running. Yeah, it's yeah. like so much fun, and yeah. and all the cast were fun. And then loads of Aussies that I knew were on it too. You know, this was the first one that was made after it all. Like, so it was a very exciting time for people that did know Star Wars. Was it because Attack it was like, of the Clones? Is yeah. that, is yeah. that, um, it's not, is that I, the one? I, I, I have to say, it's not the best of the ones that were made mm, since mm, then. Mm. And also the what's being made now, it's complete, you know, there's a real, I mean, it's really divided. What we made, I think, is for kids. Like, mm, you know, and mm, I think people mm. were disappointed because they'd seen it as children, but now they're adults going, I expect this, but it's like, but this is a film mm. that you you have memories of because of being a child, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and children love it. It's yeah. like kids just oh, totally. like totally, they have the same reaction to what these adult fans have that mm. were disappointed. So you just got to put it into perspective. perspective. Yeah. But, um, but for me, it was just a fun couple of weeks, yeah, you know, right. and it was a small role and everyone was awesome and could just kind of do whatever you wanted. And, and everyone was really lovely, but I do remember being on set and people were giddy you know, when George was around or not, that were actually working on the piece that made me go, oh, these are professional. Like, yeah. Australians don't get giddy. Yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. we're just like, hey, we're just doing it. I was like, oh, these people. So it must be quite intense. Do you, <laughs> what a thing. Do you still have people coming up to you being like, do you want to make some death sticks? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that is still one of my favourite moments. Just <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Michael um, Dormand. Dormand? I, think. Oh, I forget, but he's been around for a long time. Um, yeah, No. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to the Showbiz Podcast with Robert Rabia and Joey coley Sowery.